I'm taking all of this soap and grating it as fine as I can so it can be easier when you squeeze it into soap balls. There's a lot of scrap when you um, when you start making soap, sometimes you go over the edge of the mold a little too much, or sometimes you have to shave your soap and you end up with all this scrap. And that's a lot of soap that I do not like to waste. And luckily I found, I found a method of reusing that and making it into soap balls. Keep in mind that soap is caustic um, after you make your first batch. So, so I waited two weeks and I, after I touch the soap, if it does not burn my hand, then it's safe for me to use. But if you're, if you think your soap is still caustic, you will definitely want to be using gloves or else your skin is going to get very irritated. This kind of looks like Parmesan cheese. I think maybe I want it a little bit bigger. Well, whatever works. If you like them big, make them big. If you like it fine, that's not going to hurt either. bigger chunks of soap that need to get grated down a little extra. Oop, see, found a big piece. Okay. Okay, the next step, you want to have um, a regular kitchen parchment paper um, so the soap balls will not stick to the paper at all because that they're covered with a layer of wax. And you want to have your cup of water heated up. says sprinkle just to try to get it to soften up you don't have to drench the soap in water okay I'd say that was about five or six tablespoons okay the soap is softening up and squeeze it tight
see you don't need a whole lot of water but you do need to squeeze tightly to make sure you have no air pockets in your soap Keep in mind that if you have um, um, multicolor soap shavings, you might want to consider exactly the layout of the soap ball. Because let's say if you have brown and red or pink or green, some crazy colors that don't really go with your soap. Um, you could end up having a yucky color. So you want to make sure that your, your color pickings are neutral for your soap. Or that they at least complement each other. It looks like I'm only going to get two soap balls out of that plate of soap scraps. And this is a pretty good size. I mean, it fits in the palm of your hand. Like most soaps. Make sure that ball is nice and firm. Solid all the way through. So these both seem about the same size, though this one feels slightly lighter than that. I waited about a day to check on my soap balls and this one um, this one is pretty hard see like I've given it a squeeze and it won't uh, crumble underneath my grip uh, you can see like a few cracks here but I don't think it's a big deal um, these usually take like about everybody's different um, some people some people they claim within two to three days 
their soap is completely dry. Sometimes it takes like a week for it to completely cure. But this one, I was messing around with it and uh, it cracked. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of water and I'm gonna shape it up again. Just get a little bit of water. There we go. And it should feel really solid in your hands. And occasionally you may have to flip your soap balls around because um, sometimes they tend to collect moisture underneath the balls and it could be from the water maybe, you use too much water or sometimes it could be the fragrance oils um, that you will see come out as a brown liquid. Uh, and, and some people, it's interesting, everybody has a lot of different information to give, but they said that if your fragrance oils seep out of your soap as it's drying, it's because it's not a really a good quality soap. I mean, not a good quality soap, not a good quality fragrance, or that you you didn't mix in the fragrance oil or essential oil well. And it's just kind of seeping out of the soap's pores. See, now it's nice and round. We'll check it the next day and see if it if it uh, stays in its uh, solid form. Here we go. All right, we'll check them next day. Okay, so I waited about a week and these are already cured as far as I can tell. And if you squeeze hard enough, it will um, sometimes crack, but I mean, this feels pretty firm though. And it's pretty solid and it should last me a, uh, a while. I'm just going to test it. Okay. Yep. Mm, that's as good as it gets. Um, still, it can come apart if you squeeze hard enough, but as long as you respect its, uh, its um, st a structural integrity, then it should last you a long time.